In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture client support requests. There are four ways to do this, by chat with the client, email to ticket bridging, tray icon support request, or by manually creating a ticket. First of all, let's set up our email to ticket bridging. To do this, go to the settings tab, go to the clients and licensing, and select yourself first. Go to edit yourself as a client, in here you'll find the client support email to ticket mapping. The first part you want to do is set up your email settings here. Once you've done that you can then set who is going to get these alerts. Also you can set the response email template so you can customize what auto response will be back to the client. You'll also want to set a do not reply address as well. Once you have done this you can save these settings then go to edit the sub clients in the clients and licensing page. From here Select again one of the sub-clients, for example I'll use Cashflow Sports. What I can then do is go down to the client's support email to ticket mapping again. However, I will only want to set the domain. So any email that comes from anyone at ksports.com can now be captured and put under this client. Another way for a client to send a support request is through the Navrisk tray icon. As you can see down below here, each end user will have a Navrisk tray icon that they can right click and select submit support request. As an end user, I can fill out my email address, write my problem, and also choose to send a screenshot of my monitors to show you the current error on my screen. You can modify the images used for the tray icon as well with your own images, and you can find instructions on how to do this under the customization area in the admin and installation guide found on our help tab up here. You can also find some instructions on updating this globally in the Navrisk forums as well. To set up more options around the tray icon, we can go into the settings tab and into the tray icon. In here, we can choose the brand name to use, the contact information, and even a linked website if we want. If this is a setting that you want to use on all clients, you can do this only once at the top level, and it will be used in the place of all blank settings on sub-clients also. Another way to capture a support request is via the chat session you can have with your end user. To do this, go to the device that the end user is currently using, and click here on the chat bubble to start a chat session with the end user. After having a conversation with them to find out all the details you need to know about the problem, you can choose to click Close and Raise Ticket. This will then raise a new ticket in Navrisk and capture the chat session into its contents. The last way of capturing a support ticket is doing it manually. Here in the Tickets Console tab, you can find the New Ticket button in the top right corner. You can set all the information in the ticket as the client is explaining it to you over the phone or other form of communication. 